JWTs are everywhere in backend authorization, but that just might be a problem. In this video, I'm going to tell you why. For years, security experts have warned us not to use JWTs for web sessions. And I think that message has mostly landed. Front ends today are a lot more secure. But using JWTs for authorization in your backend is really not a good idea. And in this video, I'll dive into the flaws of JWTs and show you how centralized authorization solves the exact problems that JWTs struggle with. Okay, quick refresher. JWT stands for JSON Web Token. And some folks even say JWT, and that's what I'll call it in this video. Now, it's part of a family of specs called JOS or J O S E. And while no one talks about JWA, JWE, JWK, or JWS, JWT is the standout because it is the actual payload format. Now, this is just a JSON object with some metadata like headers, claims, and even a signature to ensure integrity. Now, these claims can include things like expiration, issuer, and audience. But the real wildcard here is something called the scope claim. And that's the one used for authorization. And guess what? It's not even part of the original JOS spec. It actually comes from OAuth2. Here's the biggest issue. JORTs can't be revoked before they expire. Think about logging out of a web app. If the JORT hasn't expired, it's still valid, even if the user has been logged out. Now, that's bad on the front end, but for backend services, it's even worse. Because a user could have access revoked, but as long as they hold a still valid JORT, they can keep accessing restricted data. And that is what is called the new enemy problem, which was first described in Google's Zanzibar white paper, which basically is the white paper that describes how internal authorization at Google works. The only real solution to solving this is centralized authorization, where every permission check hits a central service, and that way you can always get the most up-to-date view of who has access to what. Now, there's another problem with JOT scopes. They just don't provide fine-grained control. The scope claim is vague. You'll see values like email and profile and address, maybe even something like profile admin, if someone got a little fancy. But really, what are we even authorizing? The whole app, one resource, one user's stuff. The authorization here is very coarse-grained and is not fine-grained. And this is not scalable, especially in modern apps where users might have access to millions of items. You can't shove all of that into a jot and just pass it around. And that is where centralized authorization comes in and solves this problem. Services query permissions on demand, and the central system handles all this logic. For example, SpiceDB uses something called Reback or relationship-based access control, which supports fine-grained or granular data and still handles things like role-based access control, attribute-based access control, and even custom roles. I'm still not done with some of the problems of using JOTs in authorization. Even if you could make JOT scopes work, it kind of requires you to be psychic because how do you know what scopes to include for a request? Typically, JOTs get created at the gateway or ingress, which is before the request hits any microservice. Now, that means whoever creates the JOT has to magically know every downstream service and what permissions they'll need in the future. Spoiler alert, that's not possible. And what if you just include too many scopes? Well, that is your security risk and attackers could abuse them to really escalate access. So here's what centralized authorization gets right. Centralized authorization doesn't try and predict the future. It just responds to requests as they happen. Now, yes, that means an extra network hop, but systems such as Spice TV that are based on the Google Zanzibar white paper are optimized to keep data in memory. So latency feels like you're hitting a cache. And we're talking about read is fast, not database slow. And plus, you get accurate, real-time permission checks. So there's no stale data, no security gaps, and you're definitely not falling afoul of the new enemy problem. So is there ever a good time to use JOTS for authorization? Well, yes, in some very rare cases where it's a one-time access token and the access can't be revoked. Now, if that's your use case, 
absolutely use a JWT for authorization. But honestly, in the modern world, that's not most systems. If you've been using JWTs for authorization, now this is a sign to really rethink that decision. Centralized authorization fixes all the problems that JWTs just can't. And if you want to learn more, check out SpiceDB. It's open source and it's purpose-built to help you build secure, scalable authorization systems. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let us know in the comments what your biggest authorization headache is. See you soon.